Sup's up everyone and welcome to episode 11 of my Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play. Last episode we explored Celadon City, found Team Rocket's hideout, and got our third team member, Jolteon. Shout out to Dark Kingboy for suggesting the name Usain Bolt and Rockstar Pool 69 for suggesting the name Joel for Jolteon. Since we're not making our way to the Name Raider in Lavender Town until next episode, the name Jolteon challenge is still in play. Comment your name and whichever gets the most likes will win. Since Dark King Boy and Rockstar Pool 69 commented on the previous video, their names already start with plus three on the scoreboard. I'll go ahead and comment their names and like which one you like best. Anyways, back to where we ended last episode, right at the Rocket Hideout and this poster, we're going to go and infiltrate the hideout. There are a bunch of Rocket Grunts and some we can avoid and some we need to battle. I'll soak Jolteon out front just so we can get the experience. Down here we can battle this guy but kind of unnecessary and in this tree right here there should be a PP up. Um, useful item. Are there any other fun stuff in these trees? Probably not. There's a trainer over here that we don't need to battle and there's a blue Pokeball which means an item and an escape rope. So if we do get in trouble and we need to heal or something we can go ahead and use that. That's it for this floor so let's head downstairs. I believe we can avoid this upcoming trainer too. Yep. Okay, he, he moves around a little bit. And we avoid him. There are a bunch of switch panels right here that will spin us around. So let's go ahead and go for a ride. Hope I don't get too lost. Right here we can find a Moonstone. So if we do need another Nidto King uh, or Nidto Queen or any other Pokemon that needs a Moonstone. And we got an X-Speed right here. Um, I will try my best not to get lost, so let's make our way through here. TM12 is taunt, that means you can't use any um, like status boosters or anything to kind of like raise your attack or, or you know, whatnot. If we go this way, we'll get this item right here, which is a super potion. That's actually super helpful, uh, pun intended, um, and we need to make our way back here. And then there's no trainer here. Awesome. Now we can head back up to the first floor. And there should be a, an item right here in the corner. We got a Hyper Potion. That's that's pretty hype. Let's go. Now we have to head back down and head downstairs again. So we just need to avoid this rocket trainer. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Awesome. We did that. And we're going down to the third floor. Uh, let's see here. Over here. There's a nugget. All right. Didn't take me forever to find this item. Love that. Love that. Um, what if I actually get cell phone service down here being so low? And then we have another puzzle to go through. If we go right here, we got a rare candy. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Um, I think we're going to have to battle you. I kind of want that item, right? Do I want that item? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's just battle you anyways. Let's get a battle on the video today. Let's see what he has. Machop. Okay, this is going to be a tough one for Jolteon. Uh, either Usain Bolt or Joel or whoever you guys want to want to choose. Let's see what Shockwave does to, to Machop. Oh, okay. Pretty easy hit. Nice. Another Machop, we'll just keep Jolteon out there, why not, let's get the experience, let's get a couple of levels, let's get to where Spike and Littlefoot are. Come on, come on, come on. And let's just use Quick Attack, take it down, you guys aren't going to heal. This item better be good, I'll, I'll say that. DM21, which is frustration. I actually wrote in my script that I didn't want to get it. Um, it's not not really a good good uh, attack. It's not a good move. So, um, oh well, you live and learn. And if we go down this way, oh, classic me. All right, let me get back there. Let me actually take my time with this. Looks like we need to battle you. Nope. Okay. You are out of range, and this item right here is a black glasses. 
It will power up dark type Pokemon and dark type moves. This is the uh, interesting part. This is the fourth floor with Max Ether. That's nice. And what we got here? TM49, which is Snatch. All right. I don't know what Snatch does. Nope. I don't want to save. Uh, not yet, at least. What does Snatch do? Snatch, 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 Snatch. Steals the effects of the foe's healing or status changing move. Oh, well, that's uh, not useful. Right here, we got to battle this guy. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? That's a good question. Who does have the lift key? What do you got here for us? A coughing. All right, coughing should go down pretty easy. We don't have anything that can beat it, um, or at least super effective on it, but we're, we're a little bit too powerful. Not too powerful. It's always nice to, to be powerful, but Jolteon, this is easy work for him. Let's see if we can get to level 26, and we do. All right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey. Uh, Zubat, this will be easy work. Now we have something to take down Flying-type Pokemon with Shockwave, um, which is good. That's the reason why I wanted Jolteon. Electric is a very good type. There's a lot of good Water Pokemon and a lot of good Flying Pokemon that we'll be batting later on in the game, so Jolteon is always good. Plus, the speed of Jolteon helps as well. No! Oh, no! I dropped the Lift Key! He was so traumatized by us beating him that he dropped the Lift Key... Now we have access to the elevator because we need to get right over there. Let's make our way back there. Let's see if we can avoid all these rocket grunts again. Oh, yeah. We can avoid you. Can we avoid you? Yep. All right, all right. Come on. Do, do, do. Now we have the lift key. We want to go to the fourth floor. We are, are we have arrived. Are there any any items over here? Oh yeah. It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. We found a calcium. Calcium will either I believe special attack. Special attack, nutritious drink for Pokemon. Let's just put that on Jolteon right now. Oh, subscribe got an item. Let's see what subscribe got us. If it's another hidden power or secret power. Great. Another pitch berry. All right. All right. So now we got a couple of battles coming up. We got to, in order to get through, we got to battle these guards. So apparently this guy we saw him at Mount Moon and we've ruined his plan. So let's give him a, a fresh reminder now that Jolteon drank some calcium or ate. You know, took the took the calcium. Oh, this is not going to go well for Jolteon. Let's see if we can quick attack this down before it does a ground move on us. No. Okay, got it. We're going to have to switch the little foot on this one. Pokemon. Little foot. And we can't get poisoned, so not to worry with that. One Razor Leaf should take this down as long as we hit. We do. Nice job, little foot. And let's see what's coming up next for this guy right here. This Rocket Grunt, we have a Sand Slash. All right. This will be a good experience for little foot. Could take it to level 32. Probably not. Let's just use another Razor Leaf. Down goes Sand Slash. I hope. Yep. And it did. Nice. And it did get to level 32. Wow. I'm pretty good at this. Let's see. Fun little stat boost. All right, all right. And Ekans. Well, we're going to switch to Spike. So we get action from all three in this battle. I guess we should only use two. But we got all three. And we'll just dig down Ekans to... Actually, let's just thrash. Let's not waste uh, multiple turns. Let's just thrash this and beat it down. Dig is super effective. But, I mean, why, why waste a turn when we can just thrash and take it down right here? So that... That guard was pretty easy, so let's see what the other other guy has. Oh, Littlefoot is evolving. Uh, this is unexpected. All right, I did not plan for this, but Littlefoot is evolving. Let's go.
Congratulations, your little foot evolved into Venusaur. I actually forgot that the Bulbasaur line evolves at level 32 and not level 36, like uh, War Turtle into Blastoise, then Charmeleon into Charizard. So that's really cool now. We got a Venusaur. We got a uh, big old little foot right now. Little foot is now big foot, but we're going to stick with the name. This is great, great news. What a great episode. What a fun little surprise. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? Let's see if we can uh, not use Littlefoot in this battle. Ekans. Ekans. Uh, we'll, we might have to switch to... Actually, let's just see what Shockwave does. Why not? We got a little bit of time. We got some time. Shockwave. Easy work. Easy work. Sand true. Uh, I really, 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 really don't want to use Venusaur in this battle. So let's just switch to Spike. We're going to just batter it down with Thrash. And we'll get Spike to level 32. All right. 32 crew. Ow, man. 10 HP. Oh, Sandshrew, you're so powerful. Way to slash me. And Spike gets to level 32. Now Jolteon is up next. Uh, Arbok. All right. This might take both thrashes. If not, we'll just dig it down. But um, this should be pretty easy work. Our attack does get uh, lowered with Intimidate. And we're confused. How lovely. Um, let's just dig it down. We're confused. Let's see if we can go underground here. It hurt itself in confusion. Way to go, Spike. I'm not too worried with Arbok. He won't have anything to really attack us. Um, so let's just try it again. We're confused again. Let's snap out of confusion. And we dig a hole. Let's see if we can have back-to-back -back confusion luck. Lear won't do anything. And we snapped out of confusion. Nice. This game is over. Bye-bye, Arbok. Good. All right, good. He went down. That would have been bad if he didn't. Um, okay. So those were the two rocket guards. Now we have one final battle with Team Rocket leader Giovanni. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch our new Venusaur out to the front. And let's see. Let's talk to him. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise... This is such a bad Im impression. I'll, I'll work on it for the next time. I am the leader, Giovanni. This is bad. I, I'm just going to read as, as normal for your insolence. You will feel a world of pain. Sorry about that, folks. I will work on my Giovanni impression uh, for the next time we battle him because this is not the last time we will be seeing him. So he will start off with an Onyx. He will also have a Rhyhorn and a Kangaskhan. So luckily for us, Razor Leaf is super duper effective against Onyx and Rhyhorn, both being ground and rock types. So you see it goes down in one hit and we're getting uh, Littlefoot's first experience as a Venusaur. Rhyhorn is going to go the same way. One Razor Leaf will take it down. Um, Rhyhorn actually looks pretty cool, kind of like the little Rhinoceros Pokemon. Um, big fan of Rhyhorn and uh, his subsequent Rhydon. Subsequent, his his evolution Rhydon. What am I talking about? Come on, Timmy B. And now we're going to use Kangaskhan. So we're going to switch to Spike as we do have Double Kick, which is super effective against Kangaskhan. Uh, Kangaskhan is a normal type and uh, had one of the... Probably one of the greatest and saddest episodes of the original anime with um, kind of like a Tarzan situation. This boy was like raised by a Kangaskhan or whatever. Um, Fake Out doesn't do anything. I, I hate that move so much, at least when it's used for me. Critical Hit. And okay, so one more one more will do the job. Tail Whip to lower my defense. That won't do anything. But yeah, I mean, that episode was like kind of like a Tarzan. You know, this guy was raised, this like little boy was raised by Kangaskhan. Um, great episode, sad episode. Um, unlike Tarzan's parents, uh, well, just watch the episode. You'll, you, I don't want to spoil it for you guys too much, even though it came out like 30 year, 25 years ago. What? This can't be. Timmy B got two hundred ninety dollars, twenty nine hundred. Wow, this is a this is a rough day for me. I see that you raised Pokemon with the utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step outside this aside this time. God, read Tim, read. I hope we meet again. And we do. And we got the Sylph Scope. Now, what the Sylph Scope does is it's a key item, obviously, because it's very key. Key, key, key. So it's a scope. 
that makes unseeable Pokemon visible, such as a ghost. Speaking of the Sylph Scope and Ghost, this will end our episode today. We infiltrated Team Rocket's hideout. We battled a couple grunts. We, we battled Giovanni for the first time. Next episode, with our Sylph Scope, we will head back to Lavender. T uh, okay, there's a couple of trainers here. I um, Actually, I'll just battle them off screen. Yeah, why not? So next episode, we will use this Sylph Scope at the Pokemon Tower and change the name of our Jolteon. Usain Bolt and Joel are the leaders and have a three-vote lead, but if your name is better, comment and win the like battle. Make sure to also like this video and subscribe to the channel. While you're at it, follow me on Twitter too, at It's Really Timmy B, link in the description. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.